when we're engaging with nature, I think very often we have too many words for things and we don't spend enough time feeling you know, what something feels like or smelling what something smells like or listening to the sounds in nature. And in this workshop we're trying to encourage people to see the things they think they know differently and to work with materials uh, taken from nature, both from plants and from animals, and um, to try and, try and find new combinations of things, new combinations of materials, um, explore, yeah, explore nature based on their personal interests as well. And so we did a number of things. We um, went out gathering materials from the estate. Um, we also did um, more conceptual exercises in which we asked people to categorize materials and come up with new categories and uh, systems in which we can view materials. They could be based on their qualities, on things we associate with them, on abstract terms. You know, people, participants could make that up and, and we would discuss it then. Um, we established material analogies, so for example, comparing, let's say, um, leather with um, leaves or, you know, just, just different types of materials. And, um, and then, uh, running through the whole workshop, there was one continuous um, process, that of um, making leather from a deer skin and also taking apart uh, parts of the, of the deer's body, and namely the legs, um, to show people that you can also work with tendons and with bones, and you know, with the hair of the deer skin, you know, just all the different materials the animal yields, but that which are very often overlooked because we're focusing on meat and on you know, just the, the primary interest in, in eating animals. Or, you know, and, yeah, and, and also very often we just think of them as as goods, you know, just things bred to do one thing, whereas they're a really rich resource, and so we're, you know, we're just trying to make more of that. <laughs>